Hello and welcome to part three of my creative writing sentence starter series. Now, I put a poll and lots of you guys in voting basically said that the most challenging part of your English GCSEs is creative writing and especially coming up with story starters, sentence starters. How do you begin every single paragraph in your creative writing story with a really powerful sentence so that you don't waste too much valuable time, especially during your assessments and, as, and eventually in your exams, trying to figure out, okay, how can I even start this paragraph, okay? So now in this video, what I'm gonna give you guys is the best sentence starter for your problem paragraph. This is where you introduce the obstacle that your protagonist, your main character in your story is gonna face. Now, remember that when it comes to creative writing, I always recommend to my students, go for the story and follow the story mountain structure. Story mountain is simply five paragraphs in your creative writing story. Paragraph number one is your beginning paragraph. Paragraph number two is your build up paragraph. Paragraph number three, which I'm gonna go over right now, is your problem paragraph. Paragraph number four is your resolution and paragraph number five is your ending. So in your third paragraph where you get into your problem, you've created a build up. Now you want to use a really impactful sentence and a sentence starter that shows, okay, now things are changing, okay? There's a plot twist. And how can you write a really powerful, effective sentence starter for your problem paragraph? Use this phrase, okay? Just then, I heard a rustle, then a clatter, then a low rumbling, which slowly rose and reverberated through dash. I've put the dash in because this phrase is meant to be used for any setting and for any type of story. Hence, this um, rustle, then this clatter, then this rumbling, literally, you then think, okay, if I've set my story in the forest, then all of these noises reverberate through the forest. However, if it's in the city, maybe in like a really narrow alleyway, then this rustle, then clatter and rumbling reverberates through the city's alleyway, okay? So, let me explain to you guys why this is the perfect sentence starter for your paragraph, uh, for your problem paragraph even, okay? Now remember, when you're doing creative writing, you are tested on your AO5, so assessment objective five and assessment objective six, okay? Let me explain to you guys why this problem sentence starter is powerful in answering and showing your teacher that you're not only addressing AO5, but also your AO6 marks, okay? Now, remember, AO5 essentially um, tests your ability to communicate imaginatively, use ambitious vocabulary, have a good tone style and register, as well as powerful structural features. How does this sentence in your problem paragraph achieve that? Number one, when it comes to communicating imaginatively, this is a very imaginative description of the sounds that you can hear of either the villain or an animal or something that's now going to cause you problems in your problem paragraph, okay? So of course, this is this uh, phrase is really communicating imaginatively, it's gripping your reader. Equally, it uses lots of ambitious vocabulary, okay? Ambitious words, for example, rustle, clatter, rumbling, lots of onomatopoeia. Equally, how these noises reverberate, they echo. Again, that is really, really powerful, ambitious language, okay? Equally, the tone is now quite dark, it's really scary, it's ominous. In terms of style, of course, because it's written in a mix of simple and a complex sentence. The style is really, really powerful, okay? So you're kind of speeding up the pace, but also slowing it down, speeding it up, slowing it down. That's what your problem paragraph should do. It's now taking your reader on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. Equally, in terms of structural features, as I said, this has lots of powerful structural features. You've got simple sentence, then a clatter. And then also, of course, you have this long, complex sentence. It's a really nice mix of structural features. However, don't forget, you need to also make sure you are hitting your AO6, which is 20% of the overall marks available for creative writing. However, it's still really important because firstly, in AO6, you need to demonstrate technical accuracy, make sure your spelling and punctuation is correct. That is done here, okay? Equally, you wanna use complex grammatical features. Again, this phrase is powerful because it does use complex grammatical features. I'm using a slightly long, complex, uh, simple sentence with a short, simple sentence, and then, so that, speeds up the pace, 
but then I then slow it down immediately by using a long complex sentence okay so I'm making lots of use of complex grammatical features again this is something a lot of students really struggle with and they never quite achieve in their stories okay so when it comes to your problem paragraph make sure you start your problem and you know create tension and create a build up using this phrase just then I heard a rustle then a clatter then a low rumbling which slowly rose and reverberated through blah 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 whichever setting you have selected okay so guys thank you so much for listening and of course come back for the resolution paragraph sentence starter